Hello everyone, I'm GC Rock and in today's video I'm doing something a little bit different. I've wanted to do this for a few weeks now and today's the first day. We're going to do a few more of these. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is the best Division 1 builds. We're going to go through a build today, one of my favourites on a Division 1 that I used all the time. We stood outside of Stone and Signal for a reason. The build was pretty much built for this and, it, and I always used it. If you watched the streams back then, I was constantly using this build on Stone and Signal to make things very easy. It's a great PvE build. Uh, I'm going to go through it today. I'm going to show you how I built it. I know a lot of people still play the Division 1, so I thought this video might be helpful, but also for the nostalgia value, okay? Like, uh, a lot of people are enjoying my Division 1 content lately, so I thought we'd do this and just do something a little bit different. And if you are playing the Division 1 right now, then definitely make this build. This build is insane. So before we continue, please do hit like and share to support the video. Consider hitting subscribe if you are new to the channel. I cover a lot of the Division 2 content and the Division 1 content. We stream both games as well. Uh, and more importantly, we have a great Division community that's built around the Division. We also do Destiny and more Looter Shooter games. It's linked at the top of the video description. We hit 14,000 members the other day. We're partnered with Discord now. Once you're done with the video, be sure to click that link and come and check us out. You won't regret it. So the order of this video, what we're going to do now, we've done the intro. We're now going to get into some gameplay of the build. I do this all on my uh, Division 2 build videos. I'll show you some gameplay. We then go into the build and discuss it. Uh, so I'm going to show you some gameplay of Stolen Signal, of how I use this build to its full potential, I want to say. Uh, but you can skip it at any point via a timestamp in the video description if you just want to get straight to the build. Enjoy. A curveball. Me and you are on curveball now. You help with bad control. Okay. Stacked. Aim for that head. Ooh. If his grenade comes over here, we need to get out of his way. And um, staff up all. If his grenade's on you, it's a good thing. Uh, heavy. Heavy. I did it the last time, so. Head down. Right, back onto purple. Sifter, let's try and keep his mark. Okay, another heavy. Heavy. Nice med kit pull. Back on. I can't even see. He's a bit more on the right. Um, nice. And we have snipers up. That's why you were in the sticky. Okay, heavy. Put damage there on the uh, curveball. Work, let's finish curveball off now. Curveball's one shot as soon as I reload. Heavy. Ooh. Okay, heavy. Boss is done. Fight, Good job. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, we're done. We're done. Not oh, to work. Russia is right door again. Heavy probably come out now. Ah, finally he decided to come back out. And I get a punch in the face, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Oh, that's never good. Uh, heavy to the left. So in that intro, I completely forgot to tell you what build it was. I'm sorry about that. It is the Sentry's Call Classified, six-piece classified build. It is insane, as you saw in the footage. It does so much damage. It was really good for the bosses in Stolen Signal, and it made things so much easier. It's the build I like to use most in PvE especially on incursions when I can. I used it for like legendary Napalm and Times Square as well. I'm Warren Gate. It was such a good build. So we're going to go into the build now. now. I'm not saying this is how you've got to make this build. I'm sure people have their own ideas. 
Same with all build videos. We all have our thought processes. And I haven't really built a Division 1 build for ages, so I'm not 100% clued up on it. We're going to go through this. This is how I had it when I, when I was finished playing the game um, a couple of years ago, and I've been using it since still, and it still works a treat. We're starting with the Urban MDR Exotic. Uh, assault rifle this assault rifle is a single fire it's insane it comes with 24 percent enemy armor damage as its uh um, base roll there uh, the talent i got on it was brutal where headshot damage is increased by 12 percent when using this weapon you're aiming for head so it makes sense we'll go through what sentry call does in a minute uh, and it's got prepared on it as well so damage is increased by 15 percent when more than 30 meters away from the target now i'm always far away from the target with this build so that's pretty god rolled for this build also comes with the exotic talent distracted the damage is increased by 18 percent against targets with status effects don't really use that all that much uh but it's good to have and if you do have someone in your team putting status effects on people then obviously you get more damage again uh the mods on this i got the extended mag there uh we've got a headshot damage mod we got another headshot damage mod you can see i'm going into headshot damage uh accuracy there as well uh so yeah you just want to stack into headshot damage you're aiming for heads all the time the secondary that I'm using is um, the M700 Tactical, which is a marksman rifle. comes with 172% headshot damage as its core roll. It's got Bruto on it. So again, headshot damage is increased by 12% when using the weapon. And I have Balanced on it. I felt this was the most underrated talent on the Division 1 for sniper rifles. Shout out for Conky that told me to put this on my sniper. Once I did that once, I never went back. And what it does, the weapon reaches max accuracy faster when shouldering. So what you'll notice is when you're in cover and you get your crosshair over somebody's head, that little circle, say, and you just aim, it goes directly to their head. It makes getting headshots so easy with it. Highly recommended. And I also have elevated on it. So it increases my damage by 10% when elevated more than 1.2 meters above your target. This isn't always the case at all, but it's good to have. And if you just think about that, it's only 1.2 meters. You could just jump on a box and you'd be elevated. The mods on this is an extended magazine. We're going for headshot mods again there. So that's all you want to do there. The sidearm, I'm going to go over the sidearm because it's just a technique that I used. You'll notice that the gear score is lower on this sidearm, and that's because it enables me to have these talents on it. Well, not expert, but predatory. Killing a target regenerates 35% health over 20 seconds. Not something I use all of the time, but if I am low on health and I see an enemy low on health, I can quickly switch to this weapon. It works in hand with expert. It deals more damage to enemies below 30% health, and I can just give myself a bit of a heal by getting a kill with it. Again, not something I really use, but it's a nice little tactic. A lot of people and myself use cold headed for certain situations as well and by having a lower gear score it enables you to proc those talents you can see the requirement there for stamina if this was a max gear score pistol that stamina requirement would be too much and i wouldn't be able to use it because on my build i've gone all into firearms so there are the weapons we're going to go through the gear pieces now and as i just mentioned on this build we have gone all into firearms that's what you want to do it's full on dps you can see i got 9906 firearms on the build 2961 stamina 2961 electronics we just put everything into firearms now let's quickly go through what sentries call does uh, as a reminder for people uh, for two pieces of it you're getting 30 percent accuracy for three pieces of it you're getting 10 percent headshot damage for four pieces you're getting a sentries call talent where headshots using semi-automatic weapons mark the enemy increasing the damage inflicted on the target by five percent for a duration of 30 seconds each a target can receive up to three marks so that's why we're using like the MDR, which is a single shot assault rifle and a sniper. Uh, set bonus five gives you 15% accuracy and 15% headshot damage. And then the final set bonus there for six pieces is improved sentries call. So NPC targets can now receive up to six marks. After one mark, every headshot on the target has a 50% chance to spread a single mark to additional targets within 25 meters. At six marks, your headshot damage on the target is increased by 100% percent it's absolutely insane it's a great build so much damage you can see that it's rolled to firearms as i've said now i'm not sure why i've got health there i've rolled health on i'm guessing i couldn't have anything else what you're aiming for this build is enemy armor damage and damage to elites that's what you want so you can see i've got health enemy armor damage there and ammo capacity on the chest uh the mods you also want to get you can't get these to drop off enemies uh once you're at world tier five it's a prototype firearms mod but it's uh just an epic one not a high end and you and it's four percent damage to elites so it's a firearms mod with four percent damage to elites. It's got two of them on there 
vendors will sell these every now and then. You just got to keep an eye out on the vendors. When you see these on sale, make sure you buy them. They are absolutely great for the build. Uh, next is the mask. The mask I've rolled to firearms again. It's got enemy armor damage on it and damage to elites. If we have a look at the mods again, again, it's a damage to elites mod. Uh, the knee pads, firearms again, enemy armor damage, got shock resistance, blind death resistance, and damage to elites. With again a firearms mod there of damage to elites. We've got a prototype mod to give first aid self heal as well. That really doesn't matter on the skill mods because the skills are changing all the time and you've got no skill electronics, sorry, so it doesn't really matter. But first aid self heal I just felt was good when I was using first aid. Uh, the backpack is firearms again. We've got health, ammo capacity, and the mod is again a firearms damage to elites mod. We've got first aid self heal mods in there too. Uh, the gloves doesn't have any mods, but it's rolled to firearms. We've got enemy armor damage, assault rifle damage, and marksman rifle damage. Absolutely god rolled. And then the holster, which goes to firearms, stamina, and electronics, has got health on it. I don't think you can get a better roll, really. I was stacked into a little bit of health on the build. No idea why. The mod on this piece is, again, a first aid self-heal mod. And that is the build. That's a great build that I use. It's probably my favorite Division 1 build. We're going to go through more of these builds over the next few weeks. There's loads of builds I used to use. But the Sentry's Core 6 piece classified was certainly something special. I'll quickly go over the abilities for you. Now, it doesn't matter what skills you have. I ran the uh, Survivor Link a lot of the time because I was very much glass cannon. And it was good to be able to proc that when I needed it just to have that bit of survivability. But I'd switch up the skills for whatever the task was. However, on the talents, four great talents to use on this build is um, critical save. When you use a med kit during low health, increases damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. This is really good if you're surrounded by enemies. Uh, combat medic is a must have on any build, in my opinion. When you're playing with a team, you use a med kit and it allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. So you're also healing your team. And over on the security ones here, we've got precision where headshot are hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds. You're always aiming for headshots, so it makes sense. And one is none. Headshot are hostile to have 50% chance of not consuming the bullet. Again, you're always aiming for headshots, so it makes a lot of sense. But that is the build. That's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it today. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And I look forward to sharing more Division 1 builds with you. Uh, if you did enjoy it, do hit like and share to support the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And now we are done with the video. Go and check out my video description for a link to that fantastic gaming community. You're definitely going to want to come and check us out. We'll see you in there. Uh, but that is it for me for now. I will be streaming from 8 p.m. UK tonight on the Division 2 PC as we are helping with raids. I'll see you then. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, stay safe and peace out.